This incredible story began in the mid-20th century, when humanity stood on the threshold of a new era, the era of space exploration. After decades of Cold War tension, spy satellites, rockets, and mutual threats, space became not just a goal, it became a battlefield. A battle not for territory, but for the right to be first in a future no one yet understood. The USSR was first. The first satellite. The first human in space. America was falling behind, but not for long. In 1961, President John Kennedy delivered a phrase that sounded like a challenge. We choose to go to the moon, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. It became a matter of honor, a national mission, tens of billions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of people. They built something humanity had never even imagined before. Everything was at stake. The country's reputation, the people's trust, faith in science. Any mistake could cost not only the mission, but human lives. NASA launched the most ambitious project in history, the Apollo program. Rockets, navigation, communication systems. Everything had to be invented from scratch. And all of it for one single leap, for the moon. The Saturn V rocket, developed specifically for the Apollo program, became the most powerful and complex engine of its time. Its creation required the work of thousands of engineers and scientists who faced unique technical challenges from immense thrust to reliability in extreme conditions. The rocket stood 110 meters tall, a true giant capable of delivering a heavy spacecraft into orbit with its crew. Each stage of production and testing was under strict control because astronaut lives and the future of the program were on the line. In 1967, during a ground simulation, tragedy struck. The Apollo 1 spacecraft exploded on the launch pad. All three crew members, Virgil Grissom, Edward White and Roger Chaffee died in the fire. The investigation revealed multiple causes. The use of a pure oxygen atmosphere during testing, highly flammable materials inside the cabin, and electrical faults. This catastrophe was a harsh lesson for NASA. Safety systems were completely revised and the spacecraft was redesigned. Despite the tragedy, the Apollo program continued, determined to fulfill its ultimate goal, landing a human on the moon. Before the moon mission, astronauts underwent intense training to ensure health and endurance. They engaged in rigorous physical exercises to prepare their bodies for the harsh conditions of space and weightlessness. This was crucial for withstanding the stress and staying healthy throughout the mission. Saturn V's flight stages were clear, simple and efficient, nothing extra. After reaching Earth's orbit, the Saturn V's third stage deployed the lunar module, which docked with the command module. Upon reaching lunar orbit, the crew transferred into the lunar module, which then separated and descended to the moon's surface. Only the ascent stage was used for liftoff from the moon. In orbit, it docked again with the command module, and the astronauts returned to the ship. After transferring samples and data, the lunar module was jettisoned, and the crew began their journey back to Earth. In December 1968, Apollo 8 became the first mission to orbit the moon. It was a key test before any landing. The crew made 10 revolutions around the moon, checking all systems in extreme conditions. They took the first ever photographs of the moon's far side, a side no human had ever seen. Apollo 8 proved that humanity could not only reach the moon, but return safely. It instilled confidence and paved the way for the first human steps on the lunar surface. On July 16, 1969, the most important mission in human history began, the launch of Apollo 11. From the LC-39A launch pad at Cape Canaveral, the enormous Saturn V rocket rose into the sky, as tall as a 36-story building. On board were Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, three men whose names are forever etched in history. This flight was the culmination of decades of effort, risk, and a dream. A dream to reach the moon and take the first step that would change the world. 100 hours and 12 minutes after launch, the lunar module Eagle separated from the command module. It began its independent descent to the surface of the moon, piloted by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. This phase was critical. The automatic systems were failing to handle the terrain, and Armstrong had to manually steer the module, avoiding hazardous areas. Everything depended on the precision of his movements and the crew's composure. Exactly three days, six hours, and 45 minutes after liftoff, the Eagle successfully landed on the moon. Houston, 
Germany base here. The Eagle has landed. On July 21st, 1969, just a few hours after landing, the hatch of the lunar module opened. Holding onto the handrails of the ladder, Neil climbed down and placed both feet on the landing pad. I'm going to step off the lunar module now. He carefully tested the lunar surface with his foot and then stepped onto the moon. That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Fifteen minutes later, Buzz Aldrin joined him. Above them in the sky hung a small blue hemisphere, planet Earth. Aldrin experimented with different ways of moving on the moon, from wide steps to kangaroo-like hops. But in the end, regular walking turned out to be the most practical. Armstrong and Aldrin spent about two and a half hours on the moon. During that time, they collected lunar soil samples and set up scientific instruments, including a seismometer and a laser reflector to measure the distance between Earth and the moon. The astronauts also planted the American flag, symbolizing a nation's achievement. All of this took place under the gaze of television cameras, with millions of people on Earth watching live. Before returning to the lunar module, Neil Armstrong stood thoughtfully at the ladder for about a minute, saying goodbye to the moon. Then, as if at home, he wiped his boots on the module's leg like it was a doormat. After that, he climbed back into the module. When they removed their helmets inside, they noticed a sharp smell, reminiscent of gunpowder. That's what the moon smelled like. After completing their work on the lunar surface, Armstrong and Aldrin lifted off in the ascent stage of the lunar module and entered lunar orbit. There, they successfully docked with the command module, piloted by Michael Collins. The astronauts transferred into the command module, bringing with them the soil samples and scientific data. The lunar module was then undocked and left in orbit. The crew aboard the command module set a course for Earth and began the long journey home. After several days of spaceflight, the command module entered Earth's atmosphere at tremendous speed. Its heat shield withstood the extreme temperatures of re-entry. On July 24, 1969, the capsule with the astronauts splashed down in the Pacific Ocean. The Apollo 11 crew was safely recovered by the aircraft carrier USS Hornet. The mission was a success. Humanity's first journey to the moon and safe return had become a reality. The story of Apollo 11 is not just about science and technology, but also a reminder for all of us. Great goals are achieved through perseverance, teamwork, and the courage to dream. If humanity could reach the moon, then nothing is impossible for those willing to move forward. Let this achievement inspire you to reach for the stars and never give up. Let the story of Apollo 11 remind us all. Even the boldest dreams can come true if we dare to take risks and keep moving forward no matter what. Be persistent, be brave, and any horizon will open before you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. It helps support us and ensures you won't miss more inspiring stories about great discoveries and achievements.